friends, it's Marika Lake. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about homeschool mum must-haves. My video today is a part of a collaboration with other homeschool mums that I have met here on YouTube. Now there is a playlist linked in the description box down below that has all of the other homeschool mama videos talking about this subject. We're talking about the things that we need as homeschool mums that make this homeschool journey a lot easier uh, to do. So I encourage you to go and check out that playlist and check out the other videos so that you can hear some wonderful words of wisdoms wisdom from other mums on this homeschooling journey. And if you are visiting me from another one of the Homeschool Mamas channel and you found your way over here, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and visiting my channel. Let me tell you just a little bit about me. My name is Marika Lake. I live on the west coast of Australia with my hubby Greg and we are homeschooling our four children. I have Will who is 13, M is 8, Cruz is 6 and little Jackson is 4 years old. And we are into our third year of homeschooling here in the Lake House Homeschool. And I have set up my YouTube channel just to be a help to homeschooling families. I love sharing resources that we've used, books that we have found, our routine, how I do reporting assessment, all those fun things. I also talk about foster care here on my channel because we are a foster care family and I do some family vlogs as well. So I encourage you to check out um, my other videos. And again, thank you so much for hopping over to my channel and watching my video. starting my homeschooling journey, there were two documents that I found online which were really helpful in the beginning stages of my homeschooling journey. Number one was the, it was actually a website, it was called uh, myhomeschool.com and I will leave links in the description box down below to any of the websites or information or things um, that I'm talking about so that you can find them for yourself. I found the website myhomeschool.com to be really, really helpful because it had information on there about how to begin homeschooling and it also had targeted information for the different states within Australia. Now I'm in Western Australia and I was able to find information about how to get registered um, and how to plan and present my um, plans and my documentation for being in Western Australia and she also had all the other states and territories information there as well. Super helpful website and I will link that down below so that you can go and have a look for yourself and information for your state. Another document that I have found really helpful was the Student Goals Bundle from Whispering Waters, which I found on Teachers Pay Teachers. And this is a document uh, that I use in my planning. So what uh, she has done is taken the Australian curriculum and put it into user-friendly language. And so it was really easy. She's got all of the different um, age groups there and you can go into the age group and have a look what they are supposed to be learning in that year at school which then helps you in your planning for what you're going to be doing for the homeschool year. She also provides a checklist in there as well that you can tick off when you have worked towards that goal or you've reached that standard. And I found that document so, so helpful. I use it every single year when I'm beginning my homeschooling planning for the following year. It's just great to have a look at that document and have a look at what uh, they should be learning or working towards in that school year. And then that helps me pick out curriculum or things that I'm going to uh, show my children in that school year. So it's an excellent document that I use all the time. Again, link in the description box down below so that you can go and check out that bundle uh, for yourself. You can buy it as a bundle, um, which has all the age groups, or you can just buy one age group at a time. And then she also has one for high school as well. Another must-have tool that I use is Kathy Duffy Reviews Online. When I am looking for curriculum or I need something, I hit up Kathy Duffy Reviews Online. She has a great website and she has done reviews of 
all of the homeschool curriculum that is out there. And so all I simply do is I go, if I'm looking for, say, a science program, I go into her science uh, curriculum reviews and she's just got them all listed down there. She has marked out her top 10, but she's got them all listed there and you can click on the links and she'll give a little blurb about uh, what the curriculum is like, what age it's best for, and then links to that curriculum as well. So you can go and check that out for yourself. And so basically it's like a one-stop shop to find out what different curriculum is available online out there for you to have a look at. And so I use that website all the time um, in my planning, when I'm planning the year ahead or I'm in my school year and I'm like, oh, my child just needs a little bit more writing practice. I would love an extra writing program to add in. And so I hit up uh, Kathy Duffy Reviews uh, website. I look through the different write, uh, writing program reviews, check them out online, and then I can make my own decision about what I feel will be the best program for us to use. So that has been a really helpful website when looking for curriculum and doing my planning. Routine is so important and I have found it to be so helpful and an absolute must have that we need to have in our house. I am super reflex, uh, flexible in my routine, but we pretty much have a standard routine for each day. And the, I find um, it's important to have a routine so that my children know what the expectations are of them on that day. And so we have a routine where the children wake up and as soon as they get up, they have morning jobs to do. And so that helps get my house in order. So I'm not having to rush around and do all of the housework before we sit down and do homeschool. It can be quite stressful to try and balance teaching your children full time and keeping the house um, orderly. And so my children take part in that. So they all have little jobs that they are required to do every morning and they know what they have to do and I don't have to remind them. They get up and they automatically do it. It makes our morning go so much smoothly. So in the morning they will um, have their breakfast, of course, brush their teeth, brush their hair, they hardly ever get dressed. We all, they always spend their day in their pajamas unless we're going out. So they stay in their pajamas. They make their bed. They put the dishes away. They sweep the floor. They put washing away. All of the things are done. And so we start our morning off like that. And then school always starts at nine o'clock. Because what I find my children do is they get up, they do all of their jobs really well. They have their breakfast. And then they like to sneak in a little bit of tech time or play time before school starts. And so if they know in the back of their head, school's going to start at nine, when they're in their game and I say it's five minutes to nine, school starts in five minutes, they're not so disappointed. I know when my kids get involved in a game or playing something online and I pull them away to start school, they can get super disappointed. But if they know every day that school starts at nine, they can look at the clock and know they've only got half an hour uh, to play and they play and have a great time. And when I call them for school, there's less disappointment in starting the day. I'm not saying that happens all the time, but most of the time there's less disappointment about starting the day. And then they know we have an hour of school and then we'll stop for morning tea time. And then they get a little break over morning tea time. And then they know we start school again um, before lunch. And so just uh, for them knowing the expectations of how much school is going to be done and when it's going to be done and when they can fit in their free time and their play time, our day goes so much more smoothly. It is, I have really found sticking to that uh, routine has been really, really helpful. Another trick that I use is online shopping. So obviously I have four children and I homeschool them and they are with me all of the time. So to go to the supermarket uh, to do our grocery shopping is not easy when you have four children and they're with you all the time. I hate doing grocery shopping. My children don't enjoy going with me. And so I avoid shopping um, as much as I can. And so what I have done is I actually do online grocery shopping. I never go to the shop for to the supermarket, I always do online deliveries. And so I have it set up really well. Um, I do my grocery order on the weekend and I have it delivered uh, first thing on a Monday morning. Uh, we shop through Woolworths and they have an app. So anytime that I have a product in my uh, kitchen that run, uh, I run out of, I grab my phone, scan the code, and it automatically puts it in my shopping cart. And so I'll be building that um, over the week or anything I think of that I need 
uh, to grab from the shops. I'll pop it into the app and it'll load it into my cart. And then on the weekend, I finalize my order and I have it delivered to my home on Monday morning. And then the children know that they then help me with the groceries. They bring the groceries in from the front door. They help me unload them and they help me put it away. I also do lots of my uh, shopping online as well. So anything I will need from uh, particularly from Kmart is where I shop a lot from uh, or any the kids need any clothes or things like that I try and do online shopping as much as I can it's just so much easier for me uh, to do it that way than having to take my children to the store all the time and even fitting that into a homeschool day um, it can be difficult so online shopping has definitely been a game changer um, for us um, in a, especially in our homeschool life with the children being at home all the time and with me so online shopping it's a, it's a good one. And lastly, building a wonderful community and support system has been an absolute must have on our homeschool journey. I often say to people that the friends that we have made and the little group that we have made has really saved my sanity and made this homeschooling journey so much more enjoyable. And so finding a community has definitely been a must have for me. Uh, I, not only uh, is this uh, community really great for my children, they have met lots of children who have become their really good friends and we meet with them uh, regularly twice a week and they go to youth group together and church together and they have a really great relationship with their children, their best friends. They go to each other's birthday parties, they're going to go on homeschool camp together, they hang out together, come and uh, spend time at each other's homes. It's been amazing, beautiful friendships for my children. But not only that, I have found some amazing mums to do this homeschool journey with and not just mums, whole families. It's been so great meeting um, people who are on the same uh, journey as me and we've become really good friends. We encourage each other, support each other, uh, we help each other. It's been amazing. So let me just give you some examples. Um, I have a homeschool co-op that I belong to and that means uh, there's four families and we join together every Friday and we uh, teach all of our children together and we take it in turns to do that. So this week, it's actually Friday today and I have the morning off. My children have been picked up by another homeschool family and taken to someone's home and they're all having fun and doing lessons together and I get the morning off, which is great. And then it'll be my turn next week uh, to do that. And so that's been amazing. I get to have some time to myself and my children are having a fun time learning with the other families and we take that in turns. And so every one of us gets it's a little bit of a loan time, which is fantastic. We're also there to support each other when we need it. So uh, recently I had been really unwell. I had the flu for like two weeks. And those mums from my uh, group, they stepped up and helped me out in such a big way. They came and picked up my children and took them to homeschool outings or just took them to their home to spend time there. Uh, they, I was rostered on to, to do lessons, but I was too sick. They, they just stepped in and did it for me. It was so amazing to have that wonderful support. I even had a get well gift delivered to my door. It was amazing. And so I encourage you, it's definitely a must have to build a homeschooling community, um, not only for your children, but for you as a mum as well, that you can have support and beautiful new friendships on this journey. And the way that you can do that, if you don't know anyone immediately around you, I encourage you to jump online. Facebook is a really great way to find uh, homeschooling communities in your area. And I know I belong to a couple of those groups as well. And um, if you're looking for new uh, friends, people to hang out with, just socially or do school with, you can find people in those Facebook groups that are near to you and start looking and building your own community because it really is a must have. So, so important. So they are all the things that have really helped me as a mum on this homeschooling journey. I know they're not all things that you can rush out and buy or read that are going to make your life uh, <laughs> completely all better, but they're just some ideas of things that I have read or things that I do or have done that have really helped me as the homeschooler mama on this journey. And I hope you found this information helpful. Again, check out that playlist in the description box down 
down below and go and check out those other homeschool mum uh, channels and watch their videos. They will have great information for you as well. And please, if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them for you. So you can leave a comment in the description box, uh, sorry, a comment in the comments box down below. My Instagram is also in the description box as well. So you can find me and connect with me on Instagram um, as well. I would love to meet you and help you out if I can. Thank you so much for watching my video today and I will see you next time. Bye.